Well, thanks for joining us as we continue to think about our living hope, Jesus Christ, and what it means to be anchored in him and what it means to be encouraged by him. All right. So have you ever thought of yourself as an alien? Well, that's what the Bible says we were before Jesus. Ephesians 2.12 says we were excluded from citizenship, foreigners to the covenant of the promise without hope and without God. But Jesus changed all that forever. Ephesians 2.13 says we who were once far away have been brought near by the blood of Christ. And then Paul says this in Ephesians chapter 2, 19. So you're no longer strangers and aliens, but you are fellow citizens with the saints and the members of the household of God. Let's think about that. At one time, there was this great obstacle dividing us. Jesus destroyed that obstacle by his work on the cross. He brought reconciliation between us and God. And Jesus can do the same thing in our relationships with each other. Reconciliation. Maybe you and your spouse, you're just going in different directions. Jesus can make the, the two one. Maybe there's a great obstacle dividing you and your children. Jesus can destroy that barrier. Maybe, maybe there's a dividing wall of hostility between you and a, and a family member, between you and a friend. J Jesus can take all that away. He, he tears down walls and restores relationships. So today, that's what I want to pray, that God would restore any broken relationships in our lives. Father, for some hearing this, uh, Lord, there's a challenge between them and a spouse uh, or between them and a child or a friend or family member. Lord, when we when we live with um, that tension, uh, it uh, it wears us out emotionally and spiritually. So I pray, Father, that you, the great breaker of barriers, would come in. Oh, that you would that you would take away those obstacles in our heart that that we as husbands and wives wouldn't be strangers any longer but but we would have an intimate relationship with each other because of our intimate relationship with you and for family and friends we pray the same and for our children lord for anyone who has a child that is estranged and a child they're not speaking to i, pr I pray that today is the day that you work in hearts and you restore relationships. You make what was separated. You, 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 you put it together again. Lord, that's our prayer. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen.